All right, so I have my Inkscape document open with my map that I have done so far on it. And now I want to make a legend. Now, for this map, there are two things we could symbolize in the legend. We're only going to do one of them, and I'll explain why. So what I'm going to do is the streams. Um, we're just going to show a blue line that has the label streams next to it. The other one we could do is we could potentially do the DEM. The only problem is the way I've symbolized this, it, it's somewhat ambiguous. Since I have a black and white hill shade under a transparent black and white symbolization of elevation, it's very hard to differentiate exactly what the elevations will be. So you can see some of these elevations are relatively higher than others, but because there's a, a black and white underneath a transparent black and white, we can't exactly tell what those elevations are going to be, and so I'm going to leave that off of the legend. Um, but what I will do is I will show you how we can just make a legend from scratch uh, with Inkscape. Now we can also export a legend from QGIS. I think it's going to be a little simpler just to make one for this example, and then you'll see how you can do that. So I want to add a new layer, and we'll name this legend. Just put it above the current, so it's going to be, we want that on top. If it's not on top, just use this arrow here to put it all the way to the top. Select the legend, and then we're going to create a rectangle. So we're just going to create a, a rectangle down here in the corner. Um, this is white, uh, fully opaque, and has no stroke. And then I'm going to make sure I'm still on legend, and I'm going to create a line. So this right here says, draw Bezier, Bezier curves and straight lines. We're just going to click on that. I'm going to click once, and if you hold control, you can snap that to a straight line. And then I will double click there. Then we can come over to stroke paint. Uh, we can click the color picker right here. Pick colors from image, and I'm going to try and click, yep, right there on my on my blue line. I can zoom in a little closer to make sure I get it. So click right on one of those. Oh, no, I'm not on that anymore. Got to zoom back out. Let's go to legend, path, uh, click on the color picker, and click right in the middle there. Okay, we got that. Zoom back out. We can see I have this selected. Um, let's go back over and change the stroke style a little bit. Let's make that a little wider so it matches. I'd like my legend to be easily seen. So we can do it about like that. And let's zoom over here. And now what we want to do is we're going to want to add some text. And right now my font size is set at 30. I thought I want to make this about 12 for the legend. And let's come over and click text button here. Make it 12 again, since I didn't do it the first time. And if you don't have this show up, when you click text over here, it should it should pop up over there for you. If not, shift control T will open that toolbar. So now we're gonna place some text. And as you can see, it changed it back to 30. Inkscape, I don't like the way it handles text very well but we'll get it fixed. So we'll say streams. Let's go ahead and select that. We can select the whole thing and here we can change it down to 12. And then click apply, close. Oh, let me close the thing, that's okay. Now let's go to align distribute. We want to select our line and let's select our streams. streams and our line and uh, let's just center these up horizontally so that we're like that and you know that's pretty adequate for now I'm going to zoom out now we can take our our rectangular box here We can adjust the size. Just drag that up. Drag that over. Um, whoops. Uh, 
maybe what we'll do here is we'll group these together. Uh, you can use Control G to group. And then we'll also select the box and we'll just center everything together. So that's centered right in the middle of that box. We, can, we want to undo that move. And here's where I should have uh, locked that. Locked the base map and locked the drop shadow. I can select these and I can move this down to the corner uh, if that's where I want it. And we can work with the layout a little a little bit more in a minute here. But there, that gives us our basic legend. Going to go ahead and grab that again. Let me put it a little closer. And the other thing I want here is now I want to have like a scale bar that shows the distances of, the, of these here. And the scale bar, so I hope you haven't resized your map yet. I have I specifically have not resized this map because we need the scale bar in order to do this correctly. Um, if you resize the map before you export a scale bar from QGIS, it will throw everything off with your scale bar. So let's go back to our QGIS layout. Uh, this button here will add a scale bar. And then we'll just drag roughly where we want that. And I can come to item properties here on my scale bar. And kilometers is fine. Uh, I don't like these segments to the left of zero. And so I'm going to put that down to zero. Four is fine to the right. Uh, a unit of one is fine. What I want is I don't like the the black and white alternating. Okay, this is all right. And so there's there's some options here where we can change that. So style single box. Um, what I want is I want to have my line fix and I want them to go up. So just like that. Uh, pretty pretty simple scale bar there. So now what I'm going to do is we can go into our map and let's turn this off, turn our streams off, come back into our export and we'll refresh that. And let's say this is an SVG. Get the warning again. And this is going to be scale bar from QGIS. Let's just go ahead and save that. Um, we actually want these to render as text, so we'll uncheck this button and we'll click save. Okay, now I'm going to go in and uh, I'm going to go to the file where I have this saved, which is right in here, and I have my scale bar QGIS. I'm just going to open this up and it'll come up as a separate Inkscape, doc Inkscape document. And it's going to take just a minute to load. Um, there it is. So let's go ahead and, oh, wrong thing. I'm going to go ahead and make this big. And we'll go ahead and, and zoom in on here. And so here's the group. Just like I showed you before, we can go in and we can find uh, which group contains the important stuff. And you can see that a lot of these uh, are labeled as groups. That there. So we can delete everything below that, it looks like. So we'll do shift, we'll delete all that. And anything that doesn't have a plus next to it won't contain any objects, so we can delete all that. And we'll delete all this. And I'm going to go through and just delete all this stuff in between. Okay, and now I want to select everything here. I'm going to copy it with Control C, and I'm going to close out of this document. 
and we can actually save it and that will make it easier next time we want to use it. And I'm going to come back over to my main map document. Now here uh, I'm going to create a new layer and we'll name this scale bar and we can put it somewhere at the top above legend or just below legend. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, make sure I have this selected and control V I'm going to paste. Maybe, maybe it's not going to work. Usually it will let you paste right into here. Sometimes you can't always see where it goes. Okay, so it didn't paste in. So now we're going to go to plan B, which is just to open that, open that right up. We'll just go file and we will import our uh, scale bar. And there it is. And I moved the wrong thing. Um, scale bar. Let's come down. And we'll just lock everything underneath there so that we don't lock, not turn off. So if we lock those, then we can grab our scale bar and we can move it down here. We can do the same thing with the scale bar. We can go like the similar to what we do with the legend. We can come in and we can uh, create a rectangle that goes around this. Just like that. And we'll just slide it under the group. Uh, let's see, the rectangle here. Let's just slide the group above the rectangle. And I'm going to come in and I'm going to change the stroke paint to, to none. And then that just shows up a little better. Okay, so we've got our scale bar in, we've got a, a little simple legend in, and that's how you get those into, into Inkscape. And then we'll come back and we'll, in the next video, we're done doing some more, some more symbolizations, kind of cleaning this up so it looks nice. Um, we'll make another map in this course, and in that map, I'll show you how you can get a legend from QGIS uh, print layouts into Inkscape and you do it basically the same way you did the scale bar. Um, but I'll show you that. I wanted to show you the simple way to do it real quick. Um, so we'll continue on with this uh, in the coming videos.